Hello YouTube, today I'm at Champion Chevrolet taking a look at this 2020 Chevy Traverse Premier. This also has the Redline Edition package as well. Starting up front, full LED headlights, nice blacked out Chevy bow tie and grill. Down here we have your front facing camera. This vehicle does have the 360 degree camera system as well. Coming over to the side, we have these really cool black and red wheels. It looks like the tires are some Cross Contact LX20s, and the size is a, let's see if I can find it, 255-55R20, and these are Continentals. Sorry about that. Here's your Traverse black and red lettering. Uh, the red line editions are just absolutely awesome because you have the black and red. Uh, most car companies will do like a blackout package. Um, the black and red looks very, very cool with these vehicles. Blacked out mirror caps and your mirror cameras. This vehicle has the passive or proximity entry. So as long as you have the key fob with you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle by pushing any of the four door buttons. Splash guards in the rear, as well as up front. Splash guards again, right here, covered in snow, sorry. Michigan just had a crazy snowstorm. This is your capless fuel fill port. LED tail lights, again, Traverse, black and red, LED license plate lights, as well as your backup camera. And I believe that camera may be for the uh, rear view mirror, I'm not 100% sure yet. But you do have parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper, as well as your dual exhaust. This vehicle just looks so cool. I'm a huge fan, obviously, of the red lines. I just, I think they have a red line edition for almost every single, model maybe not the traverse or not the uh traverse the uh tahoe and the suburban i'm not 100 percent sure on that but overall this vehicle looks really sweet let's take a closer look at the interior all right so starting over here on the left side we have all of the window control buttons above that we have your mirror buttons lock and unlock and two seat memory Right down here, if I zoom in real quick, we have the uh, trunk release button. Right now I can release it max three quarters of the way, or I could turn it off, meaning I would physically have to go to the back to open the trunk. We'll leave that in max. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this vehicle is equipped with the Bose Premium Audio Group. Here is the lighting for the exterior of the vehicle, as well as your LED fog light button. Right here is the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Right there. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, fuel level, and engine temperature in the middle with a nice LCD color screen. This vehicle is equipped with automatic start-stop. That's just kind of the way the industry is going. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped with bolsters at 10 and two. Cruise control buttons are all right here. Uh, adaptive cruise control is right here with your gap adjustment as well. Heated steering wheel button right there on with a amber indication. Hands-free call buttons and then the control pad for the center LCD display. Let's actually go to how much range we have left because I know it's not much. Uh, push button start. Right here we have your LCD touchscreen display, which is very, very responsive and high definition. Uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation, as well as climate control from here. Uh, you do have 4G LTE as well. Hazard light button right here. Home button for the touchscreen display. Back, forward, volume knob. And then this button right here, uh, people with Corvettes or Tahoes and Suburbans will be familiar with it. You push this button and the touchscreen display raises, giving you access to some storage right there. I could fit probably my whole hand in there. So definitely a lot of storage. Close that, right like that. 
This vehicle does have heated as well as ventilated seats for the driver and passenger. Dual zone climate as well. All of your climate controls are right here, as well as up on the touchscreen display. Down here, you have an SD card reader, auxiliary jack, two USBs, and a 12 volt outlet. You have a wireless charging mat right here, so if your phone has that capability, you're good to go. Gear selector with manual plus and minus on top. Two cup holders, electronic parking brake, lane keep assist, traction control button, and then your drive modes. Um, I'm keeping it in snow because it is very snowy and this parking lot isn't really plowed all that well. This is your normal driving mode and then this is your tow haul mode. Coming back to the center armrest, you lift up on it, giving you access to some storage. This little tray is removable. Pretty generous storage size, I would say so. Here's a closer look at the leather seats in this vehicle. Glove box is right here, pretty big. Right up here we have your LED lit vanity for passenger as well as driver. Three door universal garage remote. Right here we have the slide and tilt buttons for the uh, moonroof right there. And there is one back there too, but there's probably eight to 10 inches of snow up there. So I'm not even gonna touch those. That would be bad. Uh, LED dome map lights are right there. And then we have all of your uh, OnStar SOS buttons. Um, here is the rear view mirror, as I just spoiled for you. You do have the uh, camera in the back. I think uh, General Motors in general, uh, being Chevy as well, is going to this system. Previ previously, it was exclusive on the uh, Sierra 1500, I wanna say, but now a bunch of the Chevy trucks are, are having it, and obviously it's coming over to the SUVs as well. I think even the new uh, Suburban and Tahoe are having it. Um, that's actually a really sweet looking truck behind us. So there's the camera. Again, uh, very, very nice interior. Uh, these SUVs nowadays are just getting so advanced. Uh, like, I mean, you can control the climate from the touchscreen. You got storage behind there too, which is always awesome to have. Just overall, very, very impressed with this vehicle. Let's take a closer look at the back and see how much leg room we have. So this vehicle is configured in the seven uh, seater uh, configuration, two, two, and three. However, these are folded down right now and probably that's a good thing because I wouldn't be able to fit back there, I'm too big. Uh, but it does have the protective mats installed on the back which I will go over when I get back there. Um, right here, I'd say I have a solid, I don't know, five to six inches of leg room before my knees hit. Storage in the form of pouches behind driver and passenger seats. Uh, here's all of the rear heating and cooling uh, buttons for the rear passengers. And the two captain's chairs are heated, which is awesome. Really nice uh, leather armrests. Here's a closer look at that sunroof for the rear passengers. LED dome map lights, heating cooling vents, grab handle for driver and passenger sides, as well as integrated hanger hooks. Um, I'm not gonna get all the way back here, but you do have USBs right there and right over here on this side, as well as cup holders and storage on both of the sides. And it's really cool that they installed these protective mats. I'll go over that in a second. Again, LED lights for the rear passengers and heating and cooling vents. Let's take a look now and see how much room we actually have back there. So to open the tailgate, you can do it from the button, the key fob, or you can come up behind here, push the button, and it will automatically raise for you. Again, these seats are folded down, so you have tons of storage space back here. 12 volt outlet right there. Just tons and tons of space. Very, very nice. You lift this up and you have access to even more storage under there, which is really cool. To close the trunk, push the button to the left and it automatically closes. Let's take a closer look at so that. Here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to read anything because it's just way too dark out. Uh, 2020 Traverse, front wheel drive Premier, Summit White with a 3.6 V6 and a 9 speed automatic transmission. The standard vehicle price is $45,800. 
and the optional equipment is right here. Most notably, you have the Redline Edition for $2,495, and the total vehicle price is $50,180. Your fuel economy ratings are right here. This vehicle is rated at 18 miles per gallon city, 27 miles per gallon highway, for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Champion Chevrolet located in Howell, Michigan, for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in getting into a new 2020 Chevy Traverse, I will be leaving all of the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.